hi guys just few more minutes and we will start the live stream you can check out our commands hi guys welcome to the stream and let me just switch my screen and let me know if the volume is too high or low I will adjust it okay now we are good and So if you are aware of my uh, second last live stream in which uh, we worked on the Jackal website and uh, we build a uh, few of the components like the header and the footer not basically the, the as of we can say full fledged just a simple text like this is a header and this is a title and first of all uh, I wasn't sure like uh, what should be the design and uh, because uh, according to the design the website will be uh, uh, website will be created and uh, if you have any suggestions regarding the design that how we should uh, create the uh, website or how should we should design it or create the layout we i am open to the design and you can post them in the chat or you can even contribute directly to the uh, github repository i will share the link in just a second I'm just copying the link from the github repository Okay, I got the link. Here's the link and you can check out the link. Okay, so we will start by running the server. I don't know why I'm getting this uh, notification in uh, like uh, I have uh, recently uh, upgraded uh, I mean install the latest latest version of the of the insider build and 
I think it might be some kind of a bug that they are trying to fix. Uh, that's why I'm getting this notification again and again. Or might be they have added new features. I don't know. Also, let me know like what extension you are. Uh, I'm sorry, like what uh, code ed editor you are using. I will get to know uh, if you if you have any other better suggestion than VS Code or if you are using VS Code and what is the thing which you like about VS Code. I am open to your suggestions also. And in the uh, chat section, you can use uh, uh, chat commands like uh, question mark and then uh, I mean exclamation mark and then for example you can write uh, Twitter and even uh, you can use the word coffee and you can help me to run this live stream uh, by giving me a coffee and you can also join our discord server okay the server has been kicked in and we are good to let me just open the website local host port 4000 okay currently the website doesn't look very much nice but uh, yeah we can work on it okay so uh, my plan is that since uh, like uh, as you can see over here the the name of the jackal website is bold so it's obvious that uh, that the website uh, design and the website itself should match the the brand and the whole title should match the name of the what whatever the title of the website is for example we have the title bold so it should match that uh, brand name okay so we are over here and Mm hmm let me start with the the header this is now let me remove this and we need to add the heading bold okay how it looks let me just uh, split the screen uh, this is very annoying it is showing again and again do you guys know how to fix this problem uh, if you are using uh, VS Code Insider Build? Just let me know if you are facing this problem also. And uh, you know what, let me share my workspace also. If you are using uh, VS Code uh, and you are you have installed the... Just a second, let me decrease the sound volume of the music just a second guys okay yeah that's good yeah so as i was saying that uh, i'm just creating a, a session on vs code live share and i i will share this link and uh, you can uh, open your vs code and join the session and you can uh, watch me coding live let me just uh, copy the link okay so here's the link you can join the session over here 
and you can watch me coding as I go through. Okay, so we got the bold title. Now And another thing I want to mention that since uh, this um, Jackal website is uh, totally based on the blogging website and um, I don't have any you know plans to add some kind of a an home page and a contact page that will be a, a different concept since my concept is totally for creating a blogging website so that's why I will not add uh, those pages. I'm just sharing my uh, Twitch live stream on the Twitter and other social media. Just a second, guys. okay so since we have created the heading now we need to create over here um, you know what uh, I got an idea so what we can do in the component header we got this and okay so we are using sticky okay text align center let me give some padding top 10 pixel i suppose and left right zero Now let's see. Nothing is working. Oh. okay and now let's start debugging <clears throat> oops okay so we got navbar h1 here's the nav oh i think we are not uh, importing the styles yeah yeah that could be possible yeah we are not importing the styles here yeah. <coughs> components oops where's the cursor yeah hello uh, what's your name new uh, uh, new gaty cube yeah how are you doing Okay, and let me import the footer also. Uh, 
Okay, now let's see. Oh, we got an error. We got an error. Oh, there was spelling mistake. Now what's the error? No, import not found. Seriously? It's footer, header. What's wrong? Says on line 3. Do I? Uh, I don't think so. I need to add that. I might be uh, okay. I need to convert into tabs, I suppose, because SAS use uh, tabs instead of spaces. Yeah, that's still not working. Unable to import footer dot. Okay, so I think there's a problem with the footer file. Footer. What I'm using over here? Oh, yeah, the that. Post of yeah, <laughs> I mean the single quotes thing. Okay, now now it's compiling successfully, and yeah, we got that. Now we the text align center didn't work. Justify content center, yeah, that worked. I really uh, like Dev Tool. It's a uh, an handy tool we can say because first of all uh, i just go to the dev tool and see uh, if uh, we can do something in the dev tool maybe uh, some design modification uh, using css so if uh, we can do it on dev tools then i just go to my code and uh, do that changes okay so for now i will just keep the this uh, <laughs> the ti the title of the site in the middle uh, if you have any uh, suggestions regarding the design, I am just open to your suggestions and uh, I have even shared my uh, session using uh, VS Code Live Share and it's an awesome feature. You can join the Live Share uh, using the link. If you, want the, uh, if you want me to share the link again, you can just ask me, I will just share it. Um, I think you can, if you just scroll a bit higher, you can uh, see the link which, which I have shared. Just a second, guys. Okay. <clears throat> and now, now let's start with the footer. Okay. So I okay. I'll use the same concept for the footer itself for now. Because. I haven't uh, created any design in a design app so that I could so that I should know uh, what to create. I'm just um, sitting here with you live and coding just thinking if we can come up with any idea. And I know it's quite boring but it's also uh, quite awesome also that uh, how we uh, create uh, this website live over here with you. I forgot to add display flex border top. Why oh, it's not working? Border top. Let me check the footer component. <clears throat> okay, so it's working. What about the border? Is it showing the border? I don't think so. Let me check uh, margin top 50 pixel. No, I don't think so. Uh, it is showing. Am I doing something wrong with, with the border? Uh, border top 10 pixel. Oh, I forgot solid. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Where's the footer? Okay. Solid. And we should change the text in the footer also. Uh, what's that uh, shortcut for the copyright? Just a second, guys. Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, that was that was my dog. <laughs> he wants to come inside. Okay. Uh, copyright HTML oh bold oh I just noticed that uh, I'm using the uh, the I have entered the wrong title in the config file I suppose yeah it's blood <laughs> it's silly I have even made the wrong commit in the in the github also So this is the title I have changed. Let me restart the server since uh, we have modified the config file. Uh, we need to restart the server for that. I need to also, oh shit, I need to also update the URL. Blog bold. Let me restart it again. Okay. Okay, so the server kicks in and again and what were the copyright HTML? Uh, okay, so it's used numeric identity. Yeah, so it's uh, it's very hard to learn all this uh, numeric thing. So it's yeah, I, I I just prefer to do a Google search. It's quick and easy. Okay, so let's add it. Copyright and the uh, current year, I suppose, and both. Okay. Oops. That was too high. Okay, so we go, uh why didn't the copyright show what's wrong now? Uh, am I doing something wrong again? Just let me know in the in the chat. What's the uh, for HTML identities? HTML symbols. So, what do you think? Like, should we uh, use the actual symbol, or we should use uh, this? Uh, what do we say? The string of uh, um, characters. Where's the copyright thing? Uh, 
let me just copy right oh it's not even there oh. you know what let me just copy the icon only i don't want to waste too much of time on this Okay, is there any kind of an icon? No, there is no icon over here. Okay, so just leave it. Then we will add it later on only. Okay, now uh, the uh, now we are on the main part where we have to uh, design the design this uh, this blog post. Okay. and how we should do that um i have two options that uh, i mean um, <laughs> i have idea that we can convert into cards or uh, so what i mean by card is that we can add a, a background color of white and add a drop shadow to it or we can use we can use uh, grid i suppose uh, if i'm not wrong let me check if grid is supported in all the browsers yeah i was planning to use uh, grid but uh, i don't think uh, uh, i don't think uh, all the browsers support this uh, grid css thing okay so internet internet explorer doesn't support Okay, partial support with prefix. That's not good. Opera Mini. Okay, so I think uh, all the major browser do support. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And what about the flex? Uh, that would be obvious, I suppose. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. So. So yeah, we can use both of uh, grid and flex, and it's a cool combination of using both the things. <clears throat> okay let's see so yeah we can change it later on <coughs> okay and now let me go to the or not the post the layout <coughs> oh. okay so we are on the home page only here yeah. just we are using the list tag to show the Okay, so what we should do? Yes. Okay, let me open the the tab tools. Okay, so we are over here. Yeah, we need to create a container uh, class in the base in the HTML. HTML. Oops. What's wrong? Font. Where is that annotating? I don't remember that. What's called? I don't remember that thing. Just leave that. Okay. So I'll just go with the body uh, font size. I just uh, prefer to use font size uh, 16 pixel because most of the uh, most of the people also use 16 pixel in their browser as a default font size and what else font size yeah i forgot one thing border uh, box sizing so this is quite confusing like, between the box sizing or border box okay now the container file i mean the container class and add the padding 20 pixel
okay so let me just refresh oh yeah i forgot to you what happened okay so the font size increased yeah makes sense i need we need to also add the font size for all the all the h1 tags and other yeah h1 we can uh, go font size so for the h1s uh, and the, all the p tags i will use the rem so it's based upon the for the uh, font size we use uh, in the parent uh, parent element and so we can go for two rems i suppose let me convert into tabs i don't I, uh, like i do why i don't think i i, I mean i'm still confused that uh, that uh, since uh, we are using vs code live here and uh, vs code knows that it, it is a sas file so it should use uh, like spacing as i mean a size as a tab like i mean it should use uh, tabs only as a default because we are using sas and uh, sas doesn't work in the with the spaces <clears throat> okay uh, yeah i need to add that thing also mm. where we are home page okay dot container why emmet is not working now and this is the another problem i hate uh, that um vs code has built in emmet and it's doesn't support most of the the main emmet m uh, feature so it's kind of a pain only oops container and now the header we are using h1 so did it change the font size no it is not showing the font uh, i mean yeah it okay so it work okay yeah it worked and we need to also remove the list uh list style none i suppose <clears throat> okay and let me just refresh now okay so we are good with that now about the p tag and what should be the size of this font Uh, okay so the font size can be mm, one rem because yeah as a default we, we are using 60 pixel for the body so we can use that oh yeah well, it makes sense and in the home page no okay so we should start uh, styling this thing so we will name it as card i suppose Hmm. let me add a little bit spacing over here okay
and now the styles okay let me create another comp so it should be a component i think okay so for now i will use it as a component like as a as a card component but uh, later on we can change if change it if the if we uh, expand the the styles okay let me just close it all at once it's getting messier and uh, guys uh, like uh, as i told you earlier that uh, i have uh, created a vs code live share session and you can join the session uh, i'll just share the link so what you need to do uh, if you have installed vs code uh, vs vs code uh, that's great uh, or, and uh, even if you have insta installed uh, VS Code live share ex extension you can install that extension and uh, if, you, if you haven't installed you should definitely install it and I definitely recommend you should install because it's an awesome uh, it's an awesome uh, extension uh, using that extension you can uh, create uh, sessions with other people uh, you can collaborate with them by live coding and so whatever uh, like for, for example I have shared my session and uh, you can just use the link to join that and you can see me coding live directly on your machine and so it's quite awesome okay so what we have done till okay now let me okay and god and now we should we should add padding of course and the padding should be 20 pixel there is no um, uh, do you guys know if there is any way to do an auto uh, what, you, what is called automatic reload that whenever a build is done um, that it should uh, reload the website let me check it also over here um, jackal auto reload auto refresh browser okay uh, using live reload with jackal uh, jackal reload automatically reload for jackal site speeding we uh, want that uh, it should uh, reload in the development not in the production just let me try the stack o overflow Getting started with Jekyll, static side generator, live reload. One for, uh, so okay, so Jekyll serve. Let me try that. Bundle exe Jekyll serve watch. I hope it works.
it's taking a lot of time. okay so it start building just finger cross that <laughs> it works okay so it's the same thing uh, let me try to change something uh, background color maybe black mm, I don't think so it worked yeah I didn't work so let me know guys if you have uh, any suggestions that how we can implement this uh, I because I don't want to install some kind of a plugin or gem for this if there is any way in the terminal directly um, like I have used this watch command uh, or I will just try to uh, contact through the to, uh, from the jackal forum okay so let me refresh it manually <laughs> wow uh, let me try some other color hmm. oh, wait a second why do we need a background yeah so we should remove that but we uh, okay so, so we need to test the drop shadow also we need a border radius maybe 10 pixel let me just refresh wow <laughs> not bad it looks too ugly uh, where it is okay again big thank to this dev tool now over here we can uh, test excuse me over here we can test the drop shadow or whatever CSS you want to test um, I just forgot okay it was no drops I just almost forgot what was that it was drop shed only or shadow oh, box shed <laughs> I almost forgot yeah we don't need that we need RGB not RGBA we need 20 pixel 20 pixel 20 pixel again 20 pixel <laughs> I don't know so how will that work wow okay so we can spread should be zero a blur should be a little bit uh, I need to uh, give the color also some kind of a color RGP So we can go for uh, I mean light black I suppose if that makes sense yeah it looks good not bad uh, now we just a second let me copy this style before it fades away okay and before that uh, let me add a margin top margin top just go for 50 for now I will I know 50 pixel is not uh, a good idea but it is yeah it's a good idea I think we need to give it some kind of an 80 pixel so that's better no the, the okay so we will work on that later on and now hmm how does it look if we expand the size oops that's not good okay so hmm Uh, 
okay now let me get back to, to the dev tools and so i like this uh, very much where we can uh, that we get a some kind of a pop-up where we can customize the color on the fly and it also update live directly on the website so we get a glimpse of what color will be exactly okay so we need to keep it something over here let me change it to the we do need black uh, we don't need green Okay, so something like this looks good. Okay, so it's uh, we can say hmm, some kind of in gray, I suppose. I don't know. And box shadow. We need very little of box shadow. Very, very little. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Cool. Look good and border radius we can also decrease the border radius okay let's go with um, maybe 8 pixel we need to still work on the on this thing okay, let's keep this 0 and let's try the blur I mean spread Uh, spread doesn't help very much okay so this looks good I don't know okay so we can go for this style for now let me copy this whole thing we need to delete this 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 and okay so we are good with this now Okay, now we want a bit of more padding, I suppose. Yeah, we do need more padding. Let me try 30. And also, we need H1 and March padding bottom, maybe 5. No, let me try 10. Okay. Hmm now we next we need to give the links yeah so that we also need to select a brand color for this bold uh, uh, because uh, still uh, 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 since we are using black color that doesn't look very much good and that's why we need to we need a brand color for the bold so that we can uh, we can define it over here as a variable we can use a, a variable name primary so currently we are using black and in the base yeah I, yeah so I was thinking that I'm missing something so now I remember so it was the color now we need to import the color because we are getting the error and the error is it is showing that uh, cannot find the primary variable of course we need to import that also global variable now we should not yeah we should not get any errors and now we can change the change of the color from here directly without any issues no uh yep shit <laughs> i defined it in the wrong place uh i need to define it over here 
like as a link primary and the color will be primary and we can go in the hover state where the color will get a little bit more darker i know uh, because you're using black itself so there is nothing more darker than black but uh, we will change the color of the brand color and that will be primary maybe 8% if you are not sure with this what I am writing over here this is a SAS function where uh, there are few predefined function in the SAS for example darken lighten uh, I'm only familiar with these two but um, you can create your own custom functions and you can pass any parameter to it um, it's just simple as that I suppose yeah so there's a lot a lot more thing you can do in SAS uh, it's quite awesome but since uh, Ruby SAS is uh, getting depth uh, it is already depreciated but uh, they will stop maintaining it I, I think in the March 2019 I don't know but uh, something uh, but yeah so uh, I'm sure with that uh, is that um, they have that uh, Ruby SAS is depreciated definitely and I so since Ruby SAS is a depreciated I'm already big fan of SAS but uh, since uh, I'm a mostly a Ruby guy and uh, so I'm planning to migrate to stylus because it is uh, quite uh, similar to SAS itself uh, I'm not sure uh, like like uh, as Ruby is uh, sorry as SAS is powerful uh, stylus is same uh, uh, since there is not much of information on the documentation itself only basic things are mentioned but if you go in the SAS documentation there's tons of information in the SAS documentation let me just show you okay so the docs okay so just a second uh, as over uh, wait wait so this is the uh, the guide section uh, you can see the the guide is very simple uh, there is nothing uh, much to it and you can see uh, you must be assuming that this is the only stuff what SAS provide but uh, you are wrong there is a lot of thing that SAS provide if you go to the uh, documentation page you will be amazed what SAS can do actually you just uh, look at the whole uh, documentation page it's very lengthy it's very 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 lengthy yeah so it's extending SAS uh, output style function directives uh, what else just let me go to the context only okay so over here you can see feature syntax using SAS CSS extensions comments SAS script yeah so you can see they have got SAS script also rules and directives um, control directories expression if um, so you can see uh, that SAS has also got these uh, this expression uh, as uh, as we can we use in uh, other languages like uh, JavaScript that uh, if for each while so all those awesome stuff is there functional directives what a second uh, so we got if also uh, uh, this is something new i wasn't sure about this uh, if uh, expression so what do we have if true and to pixel okay so it's simple that okay makes sense Uh, hmm. now we will see if we can uh, go a bit advanced in this SAS but uh, I'm not sure if I want to use the SAS at ne uh, that that advanced because uh, uh, because I'm planning to use uh, stylus and uh, I don't think so stylus uh, is very compatible with SAS with all the documentation as we see yeah so we'll see what we can do so even if you have better idea or a better option 
let me know uh, we can use that also if that makes sense yeah okay so let me just refresh okay so the link color goes black I ne we need to definitely change the brand color so the brand color is um, not fixed that we should definitely use this just uh, we can ch uh, change it later on also we if you want I, I really like this uh, teal color I'm not sure if it is uh, called teal uh, if I'm pronouncing correctly but I think uh, it uh, it is called teal color if I'm not wrong yeah this color looks good <coughs> <clears throat> okay so what about different colors yeah this also looks good bold yeah we can just co contrast ratio okay so what about this contrast ratio okay so they do have contrast ratio Okay, so they are saying the tag should be over here. What color did we choose? We almost lost it. Okay, so this looks good, I suppose. Maybe a little bit more lighter. Uh, okay, so this one looks good, yeah. We can change it later on. where's the variable and we are good to see the changes voila okay so this bold looks good for now but we can change it and uh, I'm not sure like mm, what should we add over here I mean like this uh, drop shadow looks even good or not okay so we can go with the flow or we can change it later on as we iterate through now we need to yeah, we can change it later on as we go through Okay, in margin bottom 10 yeah I hate this thing this now uh, this built-in uh, ammo doesn't work properly line height uh, maybe 20 no no okay so go for 22 pixels uh, did it work yeah it did work now we need to add the code snippet style with the background color as primary and border color again one pixel 
border one pixel solid and this time we will uh, darken it bit so that it will look nice it will be primary and maybe go for 10 percent i'm not sure how it will look good or like how much it will look good okay wow that is not good <laughs> definitely not good we need to change that we can use lighten function and go for 50 percent and let this be as this oops okay let's now see hmm, it looks good but not that much what about the border radius border radius maybe 3 pixel hmm we can add bit of padding I suppose maybe 5 pixel okay so that's too much maybe go for 2 pixel or what we can do yeah so we can do that yeah so top and bottom can be 2 pixel and left and right can be 4 pixel yeah so now it has start to look good not bad but over here that's definitely not good definitely not <laughs> we need to change that okay so it is using figure class highlight pre code it's very difficult this thing so this is the code itself background color okay so I think we can do that yeah we can do, do that let me change the music okay so let's start designing the I mean designing this part so we are uh, uh, doing uh, the code and then defining this style but 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 we need to go to highlight and then go to pre and then go to code and now wait a second so we are doing pre figure and code 
so why it is um, breaking if we are just doing this hmm. you know what let me use dev tools so dev tool is a helping hand just to try every anything with a CSS and just <laughs> try black let me just move all these tiles for now. Uh, let me try some other color. But uh, we need to. Okay. Margin, bottom, 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 20 pixel. Uh, we can do 10 pixels since we are using the same uh, I mean for the P tag we are using 10 pixel so we can do that and the background color now let's see if we do that and that that and that You can um, you can join my Discord server. Uh, I have shared the link in the chat, and even uh, you can buy me a coffee to help me uh, run these live streams. And you can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is mitalyashu77. And how we can fix this? We can uh, we need to override the styles. Yeah, we need to override the styles. Okay, so let's do that. Background color. So we need to, uh, because if we use the same uh, color as we have used in the code over here, this background color, um, I'm not sure if, we'll, if it looks good or not. Okay, so let me try that. Uh, it's highlight and let's move it over here code and also border radius okay so something like this hmm. let me add highlights okay so highlight margin bottom 10 I hate this thing when M it doesn't work okay so we got this much but now we need to we can also do the uh, we can use the same color as over here okay mm, I don't think so it looks that good that much let me try 10% 10% darken okay Yeah, okay, so it does look good, but the, uh, that uh, not that much. Margin bottom 10 pixel. Okay, so margin bottom 10 pixel. We need to go to the pre code border none. I hope that work. 
okay great so it does work we need to do padding 0 and padding over here uh, we need to do padding on the left on the top we don't need padding on the right side yeah we need most of the padding on the left so we can do maybe 5 pixel top and the bottom left on uh, so it goes uh, clockwise right we don't need on the right side at the bottom we need 5 pixel and on the left side we need maybe 10 pixel I suppose I don't know hmm. so we can just double the values Uh, that looks good we need to just add a little bit more spacing padding get wing to okay so let me try this uh, no 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 we only need padding at the bottom Hey Sam uh, IND, how you are doing? Oh, hi Sam, yeah, how are you? Padding bottom, maybe 5 pixel. Padding left, 0, padding right. Again, the emit is not working, great right zero Sam said uh, bro I want help yeah sure hop in so what help do you need I'll just try my best to help you out Uh, we need to use uh, we can use a uh, space moon we can use different font over here let me go to Google fonts As I'm familiar with Google fonts, there is I think a uh, space mono, which is quite awesome. We can use that. Uh, Sam said, I'm trying to create a website and I am uh, new to web design. I want a software to make a web design easy like drag and drop software. I want a software to make. So I'm not sure. So you want or so you want you, know, you want to create a software or you want a website uh, so just can you clarify that now we have uh, imported the font I mean uh, we have selected the font now we need to import it uh, I will create a separate uh, SAS file called typography uh, typography.sas 
okay and I need to import Sam said I want a software name that I can make a website by drag and drop okay so need a, you need a software um, well there are many online so basically those uh, are not called software uh, you can say a kind of a website editor um, but uh, as said uh, since uh, those are paid uh, uh, th those are not free and uh, if you uh, in, they do have free plans but in that case uh, they will show their logo and their branding on your free website and um, you can uh, I think there is Wix which is very popular you can go to Wix.com Uh, but uh, since uh, as you are asking for uh, this uh, software for drag and drop uh, I don't suggest these uh, uh, online editors because uh, there is a very limitation to what you can do on this whole drag and drop uh, thing uh, I suggest you just uh, learn some basic HTML CSS and you can create uh, an awesome website trust me you can create an awesome website using just HTML and CSS and even if you need any help regarding creating a website you can <laughs> contact me also uh, I, I'm, I will just share my twitter handle you can just DM me on twitter I will help you out okay so we have imported the hopes so I just close that now we will use the space mono font uh, especially for this for this code snippets over here Okay, let's see yeah it does look good uh, or I can import the bold version yeah, it is 700 where's the typography Okay, so we are using font family font weight 700 mm, that looks weird <laughs> that uh, I think we should stick with 400 only I suppose Yeah, 400 looks good. okay so now it looks good but uh, we uh, need to change the color of the code highlighting um, since we have just choose a temporary color uh, we definitely need to change that Uh, 
Okay. We can close this. 